Hi guys. Today we are doing something really exciting. Um, and I guess to backstory, preface it, <laughs> to give it some backstory. Due to COVID-19, we had some supply chain issues in getting a couple things for our van, including this cabinet that we're gonna put in Finally got here. this hole right here. Um, and kind of finish off our van a little more. We definitely have like a little short list of projects that still need to be done. Um, as you like saw in like a previous video where we put like a rack on top. Nothing that is like major, like our van is completely livable, but we definitely have like this little list of projects. And this is one of them, um, one that I've been really excited for. And Caleb started school next week. So we came up to Idaho where the shop that we built our van is. Um, so we have all the tools and we've been having a lot of fun, but now we're gonna get to work and put in this cabinet. Yep. First things first, these are the sides of the drawers. Um, but like in our van, nothing is standardized. And so these are 30 inches tall, but the space we have in our van is 29 inches. So we need to cut off the top of them and piece it together after that. So first things first, the table saw. Well, we've got those cut, so now it's time to put the first portion together. Part of Reading instructions. IKEA furniture. <laughs> All right, so this we just basically put together as the instructions told us. It's all stable now. We're gonna go see if it fits inside the van. As I mentioned before, nothing standardized, so we ran into our first problem, but these things happen. Um, our issue is that these supports over here are slightly lower than um, lower here. They're not 29 inches as compared to the hole. Uh, and I think that's just because our floor isn't level. So, we're going to try putting it in through the front instead of the back. So, we just tried to fit it in there, and it fits vertically, but you can tell we have like a little bit of our plywood wall right there that sticks out, and so it's not fitting horizontally. And we remember when we were building this that we left that there for kind of like leeway that we made sure we didn't make our wall too small um but now we're gonna have to cut it down a little bit so our cabinet will fit we're gonna have to vacuum after this for sure let me see if that fits again again second time's the charm maybe hopefully Third time <laughs> I bet you never thought building a van involved so much crawling into small spaces, but that's a lot of what it entails. It fits! So we finally, finally got the drawer to fit in. Um, or the cabinet itself, and now we're going to build the drawers. So I have more IKEA instructions here, and we're gonna have fun and build those. All right, so this is the top drawer, um, and it'll go right here. Uh, but because we cut these side pieces shorter to fit underneath the bed, we also need to take this piece. It's the front cover that goes on the drawer, and we need to cut it off just as much as we cut off the side pieces so it'll also fit. But we're gonna go do that. have all of our drawers in. They work magnificently. Um, and now we have our latches right here. Um, we bought them on Amazon. We love them a lot. They're called slam latches um, and some one by twos. And we need to put one by twos in these spaces across right here. So our latches have something to latch onto um, when we close the drawers. And then after that, we will install our cabinet into the van. Okay, here's a better view of the uh, slam latch that we're gonna be using. And we need to take this uh, hole dozer and drill a hole through this cabinet front uh, so we can inlay the, the uh, slam latch right there. Okay. 
And there's our hole. So this is the uh, slam latch from the back uh, that we just installed in the cabinet front. And essentially there's this lever right here that when you pull the front, it drops it. So it comes with these, these L-shaped brackets. And this, we're going to secure inside the cabinet so that it locks the, uh, the drawer shut until you open it, uh, until you pull the lever in and it drops it. Greta's holding the uh, one by two in place with the latch so I can drill through and secure it so it holds our cabinet closed. We got all these um, secured. So I hope this makes sense from this angle. Here's the latch that our our pull latches connect on to that keep the, the drawers closed while we drive. But we only did two of them because this top third drawer, it's so small that um, we're just gonna put a hook latch on the side here um, because it would take up too much room to put the circle uh, pull latch in it. I think that's all the modifications that we've done to like the IKEA cabinets. Um, so we're gonna go take this and put it inside the van and secure it into the van. amazing. I think we should scoot it back a little more so the drawers are flush. Okay. But other than that, I think we're good to go. We'll screw it into the framing pieces we have and the floor and put in our drawers. We ran into one more issue. Uh, when we put in the top drawer, um, it extended above the top of the cabinet slightly. And so we ended you up- saw this all over I'm, your face. I'm getting to that part of the story. Okay. <laughs> So we had to take a planer and like a jigsaw and just take a lot off of that a support beam under the uh, bed, one of the two by threes. And I had sawdust everywhere and I probably still do all in my hair, but it fits now with all the drawers in. So we're going to screw it down. So this is the, uh, the hook latch we're putting in on the top drawer. Um, so it stays closed while we, um, while we drive, but the uh, whole cabinet is screwed in and very, very stable. It's not going anywhere. And now we have all this more accessible storage. And it's in. I don't know if I have anything profound to say, but I'm really happy this project's over. And now we have a nice IKEA cabinet. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Um, we had a lot of fun uh, filming this like more construction uh, video that we did because we didn't really film much of the actual van conversion. So it was fun to do this little section of it. Um, we still have like a little bit of trim work to do around the edges, but it looks great and we love it and we're super excited to have I'm these I'm excited stores. to have the drawers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so. We'll see you next time. Yeah, Bye. thanks for watching. <laughs> There's no longer a gaping hole in our house. <laughs>